going to go up and find that bull. He's going to be right where we left him. Only dead. Gosh. Excited, nervous, anxious, tired. It's good though. That's what it's all about. We did stay straight up today. Yeah. A long ways up there. Hook around today. and then do the switchbacks up. It's rough. <laughs> 20 bulls a year on average from like 2004 to 2014. It's a lot of elk. <laughs> these are all ones that got whacked on these sticks though. I'd like to somehow go back and try to figure out how many actually. I tried to count one time. I got to over 300 and I stopped. Good stuff. You just can't, I mean, you can train in the gym and run and do whatever. It don't work. It's just, there's nothing like it out here. Nope. I said, did you have cinder blocks under the end of the treadmill yet? He's like, what? I was like to get the incline right. <laughs> yeah, let me let me go to my tools at a waypoint. So he's gonna be he's gonna be right there. Putting you with it him on the sense. approach isn't, yeah. a, isn't a smart choice because I'm sure that bull's dead, but if there's any chance that that bull's not, if he gets up from up here, we can shoot from down there, we'll be in 12 foot tall oak brush. Yeah, that's not a chance. Uh-uh. Okay, I got, I got the boy. 10-4 copy. He's right where we thought he was. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Awesome. Prayer answered there. Found that bull, what, about 9.30? Yeah, he glassed him up. Said he was a shooter right off the bat. Uh, it, I knew the split second I put my eyes on him, we needed to get him. We didn't have time to phone scope him or anything. We just went for it, came up here, we went from 1,072 yards to 700, found him again. And then when we got here to 450, he bedded up in that thicket in that little yellow patch of oak brush below the cliffs. And we knew he was there. So we sat here for eight hours, took turns on watch, <laughs> took naps. naps. <laughs> I'm sure there was lots of photographs taken while we were napping. <laughs> and then come up here and I mean it was it was awesome awesome deal the, the bull frustrated us hung up in a little saddle yeah it took all day yeah I mean, all day literally and then we finally saw him he walked through the one opening for one second and then buried in the oak brush for another what 45 minutes yeah of torture that was torture cold we're like watching nervous. our watch and like <laughs> we're counting down legal shooting time and we're like oh it's getting close. We had plenty of time, but he finally turned and stepped and popped out in that opening and, and we got a great shot at him. And last night for safety concerns, we chose to back out. That's some rugged country there. He stayed bedded all day. I was talking on the phone last yeah. night on the way back with a guy and I was like, I was like, I think these guys think Jeff and I are insane. <laughs> we sat here for eight hours with a bad wind we had people packing a bull out of the bottom of the canyon that we could hear talking. And that bull just stayed put and just stayed right, right where he was the whole time and never moved. And I knew with this big cut here, our thermals were gonna come off this ridge and they get kind of cleaned up. You know, it's just, it's having been in that situation and made those mistakes. And you guys had a pin to a tee. I mean, exactly where he's been. Yeah, we got. Better lucky than good on that one, I think. <laughs> yeah,